There aren't many better ways to enjoy a holiday weekend than at the lake. Now imagine boating, swimming, kayaking, and all the other things you do with your family disappearing thanks to something threatening to destroy the lakes you love. Recently, Sioux Falls confirmed finding Asian carp in the Big Sioux River. Well, this is a new problem for the Okaboja area. Years ago, the Iowa Department of Natural Resources showed us how it is keeping the fish out of the Iowa Great Lakes. Brady Mallory did that story back in 2013. And on tonight's Eye on Kettle Land, he returns to Okaboji to see if a preventative device is zapping the population. Peter Isaias left the mountains of Colorado behind so he could climb into a boat. Um, I love to go fishing with my dad. There's some good fishing spots here. Isaias and his family usually visit Okaboji this time of year for some time on the water together. It's just a really good place to get family boating in and um, do some family events. Okaboji welcomes thousands of people during the summer tourist season. And it's quite busy during the 4th of July. As much as the area loves visitors, some just aren't welcome. We knew that the doorway was open, so we knew that we had populations that were growing in the Missouri River and that, uh, that those fish could make their way up the Little Sioux drainage and, and into, into some of the natural lakes in Iowa. Asian carp have threatened the Iowa Great Lakes for years. This spillway in Milford, Iowa, is the gateway to the waters thousands of boaters, jet skiers, and anglers enjoy every year. We wanted to make sure that we close that door for those fish, uh, not let any additional fish in um, to make sure that they wouldn't become uh, ecologically damaging. That's why the Iowa Department of Natural Resources installed this electric barrier about seven years ago. It's kind of like an electric fence to keep the unwanted fish out. It is a high voltage shock um, or higher voltage shock, so it would it would be very uncomfortable. Um, but it's not designed uh, to be harmful for for humans. You can see the fish hanging out near the barrier or jumping out of the water when they get too close and get a non-fatal zap. Proof is in the pudding. According to the National Park Service, Asian carp seriously damage native fish populations in lakes and rivers. Once they infest waters, they battle the fish that already live there for food and space. They essentially push out the native species and kill other organisms that are already there. The thing is with the carp is, you know, they'll just go and pretty much eat anything in their way. And they jump out of the water at very high speeds and can hurt boaters, kayakers, or anyone on the water. They can also damage equipment. Hawkins says that's why the community, states of Iowa and Minnesota, spent more than $1 million on this barrier. So far, he says it seems to be working yes. and keeping the large populations out of the lakes. But as far as we can tell, as far as our sampling indicates, we haven't seen any natural reproduction within the lake system. Hawkins says some have slipped by, but says just a few aren't a big problem and it would be much worse without the barrier. Really, our goal here is to not allow that population to grow. Uh, once those fish uh, enter the lake system, they're very long lived. Um, they can live up to 30, 35 years. Uh, I think it really does, uh, it is a benefit for the lake and uh, keeping it healthy. Isaiah is glad the community is protecting the Iowa Great Lakes so he can climb into his boat and just coast through the rest of his vacation. Hopefully, we're, we're going to have a good day and uh, catch some panfish. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Brady Mallory. We asked Hawkins if this barrier is something that would work in Sioux Falls. He says it's hard to gauge that, but recommends communities work together and research the best ways to prevent invasive species.